Hi, I'm Cara Robinson and this is GW News. Greg Chalmers is among four clubhouse leaders after the first day's play at the Valspar Championship. The Australian is seeking his first PGA Tour win in his 345th attempt and shot an impressive 3 under par 66 in difficult conditions, in which many of the top players struggled. Joining him at the top is Kiwi Danny Lee, who's coming into the tournament off the back of his best finish on tour in seven seasons, a tied second at the Puerto Rico Open. Matteo Manassero is one shot back as the young Italian makes his first few steps on the PGA Tour, though his season's ultimate goal remains making the Ryder Cup team for Glen Eagles. Alejandro Canizares shot a spectacular 62 yesterday to lead overnight to the Trophy Hassan Dutt in Morocco. Coping with the windy conditions so well was the key to his success and 11 birdies saw him produce the lowest round of his European Tour career. It's one of those fun rounds. Uh, played really good and I was really confident. Stuff came easy. Um, I played every shot. Uh, at the moment, I didn't get ahead of myself and I gave myself a lot of opportunities. So um, I put it well, I hit the ball well, and uh, then I'm there. So it's, it's a great round for me. Over to the LET, where England's Rebecca Hudson and Sophie Walker fired a pair of five under par 66s at Golf de Lotion in Agadir to share the first round lead at the Lala Merriam Cup. Hudson birdied two of the last three holes to grab the lead on a beautiful morning in Morocco, whilst Walker teed off and finished in much tougher, windier conditions in the afternoon. This lovely chip on the 14th saved par and a strong finish means her and Walker take a two-shot lead into the second day. And finally, as if they needed to whet the appetite even further, Glen Eagles have published these stunning photos as they continue the preparations for the Ryder Cup in September. If these are anything to go by, we've got a fantastic week in store. Well, that's all for this week, but join us again on Monday for a roundup of all the weekend's action. And in the meantime, you can find us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram and get in touch using the hashtag GWTV. Bye for now.